people whose perspectives are different from yours are wrong, right? Right? This is our infant universe. In a millionth of 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 a second, it went from a size smaller than an atom to bigger than a galaxy. Whoosh! You can create the entire universe out of nothing. insane you fool i'm a fool because i have more faith in the saints that wrote the bible yeah because you just read the words of a bunch of guys that you never met and you just take it on faith that everything they wrote was true mm. and what makes you think what your scientists are writing is any more truer than my saints because there are volumes of proven data numbers you know figures th th there are fossil records oh fossil records ah I didn't even think about the fossil records. I guess I'll concede. Oh, wait, well, uh, one more thing before I do, Mr. Reynolds. Have you seen these fossil records? Have I s Huh? Have you poured through the data yourself? The numbers? The figures? Well, no. I mean, no. Oh, interesting. So let me get this straight, Mr. Reynolds. You get your information from a book written by men you've never met. And you take their words as truth based on a willingness to believe, a desire to accept, a leap of, oof, dare I say it, <laughs> faith? Ah, come, on, come on, look, I mean, I don't even know how I'm supposed to respond to that. Like, ah, come on, that is a, that's a false equivalency. Just answer the question, Mr. Reynolds. Sure, yeah, okay. I rest my case. <laughs> We think we walk on solid ground. But dare to travel inside our planet and we'll discover another world. Filled with bizarre creatures that live only underground. We'll see gold form before our eyes. Feel 1200 degree heat inside a volcano. Discover diamonds buried 240 kilometers down. And giant tornadoes of liquid iron. Until over 6,000 kilometers down at the center of the Earth, we reach its beating heart. The deepest hole ever drilled is here at Kola in Russia. It extends 7.5 miles down. This drill is so long it distorts like a piece of elastic. But even the deepest drilled hole is still some 3,955 miles short of the center of the Earth. Barely a pinprick 
on the surface of our planet. You, you don't ask, is the science right? You ask, should we have carbon credits? Have you ever wondered what the center of the galaxy smells like? And the center of our galaxy is a smelly place. There's a gas cloud at the center of our galaxy called Sagittarius B2 that's made up of a compound called ethyl formate. That's Tanya Harrison. She wants you to smell the galaxy. Which happens to be what gives rum its scent and raspberries their flavor. We've never been there, so we know what the cloud is made up of based on looking at the light that's coming out of it. And we can use different lines that we see in the light basically to tell us what the chemicals are in the gas cloud. Tanya then took that chemical and turned it into something you can take with you and even wear. And then we ended up capturing it in the form of a lip balm so we could actually pass those out to people. So why even do this? Why should you care what space tastes or smells like? Well, because space isn't real. Not to you, not really. You can't touch it. You've never been there and you probably never will. It's about making space relatable, making it something you can interact with, so you get as curious about it as Tanya is. Fifty-five Cancri E. Diamonds are amongst the most precious minerals on Earth, but on the exoplanet Fifty-five Cancri E, it really isn't that precious or rare, as one third of the planet is made from diamonds. If it was formulated into a single gem, it would be larger than Earth. Assuming the principles of economics didn't exist, it would also be worth around $26.9 million at current diamond prices. That's a one with 30 zeros behind it. Amongst the super earth category of planets, this one is a rather interesting entry, seeing as its mass is predominantly comprised of carbon, which would explain why diamonds exist on this planet. As you may know, diamonds are formed when carbon is introduced to crystalline materials under intense heat pressure. And with a planetary average temperature of 1726 degrees Celsius, it's no surprise why diamonds make up one third of the planet. As it's mostly made up of diamonds, it's truly a sight to behold, as the diamonds give the planet a luminescent blue glow that will surely grab your attention. Scientists don't know anything about anything. 40 years ago, two voyagers began their odyssey into space. After 37 years of inactivity, NASA engineers have managed to fire up the backup thrusters of Voyager 1, humanity's farthest and longest lived spacecraft. I think none of us knew when we launched 40 years ago that anything would be working for such a wonderful long journey. The Voyager team is now able to use four backup thrusters that haven't been used since 1980. The transmitters on the Voyager spacecraft are slightly over 20 watts, about what your refrigerator light bulb would give off. So when the signal crosses that vast distance to us, the strength of the signal is one ten trillionth of a billionth of a watt, which is the equivalent of one divided by 10 with 21 zeros after it. You can find a scientific paper that says practically anything. That's what we have. When we look up, we see moons, planets, asteroids, pulsars, star clusters, nebulae, stars as big as whole solar systems, and millions of galaxies. You know what we don't see? Black holes. Because no one has ever seen a black hole. Oh, come on!
thing. Our all our society is run by insane people for insane objects, mm. objectives.